Researchers say they found the skull of what they believe is a new species of human, which could be our closest evolutionary relative. The Indiana Jones films have shown us that being an archaeologist is not just cool because of the smart hat and daring company, but also because it includes excavating amazing vestiges of our history, some of which are as astounding as the newest Indiana Jones film. And today we'll be taking you on a journey across the remotest parts of our planet that are hidden hubs of historical secrets. From the greatest coin hoard of human history to the ancient grave of two lovers, here are the 20 greatest archaeological discoveries ever. Number 20. Richard III's Grave Richard III, the penultimate ruler of England's Plantagenet dynasty, has long been steeped in historical infamy, represented as a merciless prince, a hunchback, and a power-hungry schemer in the annals of English legend. Despite his celebrity, the mystery of his burial site persisted for decades until the groundbreaking Looking for Richard initiative in 2012. The search for Richard III's last resting place was a joint effort, including the archaeological services of the University of Leicester. Their hard effort led them to a spectacular find within the walls of Leicester's historic Greyfriars Friary Church. Here, behind layers of history, lie human bones that would eventually change the story of this mysterious ruler. On the first day of their expedition, a human skeleton belonging to a guy in his 30s with significant injuries was discovered. The skeleton was exhumed to allow scientific investigation of its remarkable physical traits, most notably scoliosis, a severe bending of the back. The guy was most likely murdered by a strike from a heavy-bladed weapon, most likely a halberd, which sliced off the back of his skull and exposed the brain, or by a sword thrust that entered all the way through the brain. Other wounds on the bones were most likely inflicted after death as humiliation injuries done as a form of post-mortem retribution. The age of the bones at death matched that of Richard when he was killed. They were dated to about the period of his death, and were mostly consistent with physical descriptions of the king. Preliminary DNA research revealed that mitochondrial DNA taken from the bones matched that of two matrilineal descendants of Richard's sister, Anne of York, one 17th generation and the other 19th generation. Taking these discoveries, as well as other historical, scientific, and archaeological data, the University of Leicester declared in February 2013 that it was decided beyond reasonable doubt that the skeleton belonged to Richard III. Number 19. Rosette Stone The Rosetta Stone, an iconic antiquity relic, is a magnificent emblem of unraveling the mysteries of ancient civilizations. This stone tablet, discovered in 1799 in the Egyptian town of Rashid, Rosetta, during Napoleon Bonaparte's military expedition, has permanently impacted our knowledge of history and languages. The Rosetta Stone is a black grenodiorite slab bearing inscriptions in three distinct scripts, hieroglyphs, demotic script, and Greek. What makes it truly remarkable is that the identical edict is written in each script, providing experts with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to read hieroglyphs that had previously been indecipherable for generations. Jean-Francois Champollion, a French scholar, deciphered the hieroglyphic code in 1899 using the Greek text as a key. This tremendous feat sparked the foundation of Egyptology, allowing us to dive into ancient Egypt's rich history. Researchers could now read numerous additional hieroglyphic writings, revealing stories of pharaohs, gods, and daily life along the Nile, thanks to the Rosetta Stone. The actual Rosetta Stone now remains at the British Museum, where it continues to fascinate and inspire millions of visitors. Its significance extends beyond Egyptology, as it represents the human thirst for knowledge and the capacity for verbal comprehension. Number 18. New Human Species An astonishing find has surfaced from northern China, the skull of an ancient human, which has the potential to change our species' past. Scientists have given this intriguing humanoid the moniker Homo longi, also known as Dragon Man. This enormously well-preserved Homo erectus skull serves as a massive witness to our ancient history since it is the biggest Homo erectus skull ever recorded. When we examine its details, the deep ramifications of this discovery become even more astounding. Following careful examination, 
It looks like Dragon Man may have a unique place in our family tree, maybe exceeding the Neanderthals, long thought to be our closest cousins. The story of Dragon Man's skull is nothing short of an Indiana Jones-style archaeological adventure. The story begins in 1933, when a Chinese man discovered a historic treasure trove in Harbin City, Heilongjiang, China's northernmost province. However, the discoverer, who had chosen to remain nameless at the request of his family, was working as a labor contractor for Japanese occupiers at the time. Despite the possible monetary incentive given by his Japanese employer, he refused to hand up the skull. Instead, he hid this priceless relic in an abandoned well, a strategy firmly established in Chinese culture for preserving important artifacts. Surprisingly, the skull stayed buried for an incredible 85 years. The skull didn't reappear until 2018, owing to the man's family, who had steadfastly kept his secret. They chose to gift this priceless treasure to Hebei GEO University's Geoscience Museum. The scientific community was astounded by the historic finding because the Dragon Man's skull defied classification within the previously recognized human species. Number 17. China's Terracotta Army the discovery of China's terracotta army demonstrates the incredible archaeological riches hiding beneath the surface of the ancient Chinese city of Xi'an. This astonishing discovery, made in 1974, revealed one of the world's most extraordinary archaeological spectacles. The discovery of the terracotta army began when a group of local farmers were excavating a well near Xi'an, Shanxi Province, China. They had no idea that their regular digging would eventually lead to an incredible discovery. They discovered an old subterranean chamber filled with life-sized, finely sculpted terracotta warriors, horses, and chariots while they excavated the dirt. The terracotta army, sometimes known as the Eighth Wonder of the World, is a tomb structure built to follow China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, to the afterlife. The hundreds of life-sized sculptures were built to serve and guard the emperor in the afterlife, mimicking the troops of his earthly army. Each terracotta warrior is a one-of-a-kind work of art, displaying extraordinary craftsmanship and exquisite attention to detail. The range of the character's facial characteristics, hairstyles, and armor reflects the diversity of ancient Chinese culture. These details indicate that the artisans handmade each figure, making them a vivid monument to the Qin Dynasty's superior aesthetic and technological achievements. Number 16. Mohenjo-Daro The discovery of Mohenjo-Daro, a once thriving urban center of the ancient Indus Valley civilization, is one of archaeology's watershed moments. This archaeological treasure, discovered in the early 20th century, offered light on an advanced and mysterious civilization that flourished almost 4,000 years ago. British archaeologist Sir John Marshall initially brought Mohenjo-Daro, which translates as Mound of the Dead, to the world's notice in 1922. This ancient city was part of the massive Indus Valley civilization, which matched its contemporaries, the Mesopotamian and Egyptian civilizations, in complexity and sophistication. It is presently located in modern-day Pakistan. The excavation uncovered a beautifully constructed urban town with a sophisticated drainage system, elaborate architecture, and well-organized streets. Mohenjo-Daro was clearly a hub of commerce and civilization, with evidence of trading networks stretching as far as Mesopotamia. One of the most astounding finds at Mohenjo-Daro was the usage of a script that is still untranslated to this day. This Indus script, which consists of elaborate symbols engraved onto seals and pottery, is still a mystery, providing a glimpse into the civilization's written language and culture. The layout of the city, with its well-built houses, public baths and formidable castles exhibited an exceptional degree of urban planning and engineering for its time. The streets were painstakingly constructed on a grid pattern, and the residences had indoor plumbing with a complex sewer system indicating a highly ordered civilization. Despite its clear brilliance, the causes for the deterioration and final abandonment of Mohenjo-Daro remain shrouded in mystery. Some hypotheses attribute variations in the course of the Indus River or climatic fluctuations to natural considerations, while others attribute them to social and political instability. Number 15. Cave of Altamira 
The Cave of Altamira, located in northern Spain, is an archaeological treasure that provides a unique view into the craftsmanship and genius of our prehistoric forefathers. This location, famous for its incredible collection of Paleolithic cave paintings, has played a vital role in altering our knowledge of human history and creative expression. Maria, a little girl, joined her father, Marcelino Sanz de Sautuola, a Spanish aristocrat and amateur archaeologist, on an expedition to the cave of Altamira in 1879. They were astounded to see a plethora of exquisite cave paintings gracing the ceiling and walls, portraying animals, humans, and abstract themes. These vivid, lifelike representations extend back over 20,000 years because of their exceptional quality. The artwork in the cave elicited suspicion and even charges of fraud at first. It wasn't until the early 20th century, with more archaeological research and the support of notable experts, that the authenticity of Altamira's paintings was firmly established. This discovery was a watershed moment in our knowledge of prehistoric art, challenging the widely held belief that early people were incapable of producing such detailed and lifelike representations. The amazing paintings within the cave of Altamira contain lifelike representations of bison, horses, and other animals, expertly rendered with a unique sense of movement and perspective. To bring their dreams to life on the cave's rock surfaces, these ancient painters used a restricted palette of natural paints, chiefly tones of red, black, and yellow. Access to the original cave has been limited since the 1970s due to conservation and preservation concerns in order to safeguard the delicate artworks from deterioration caused by human touch and environmental causes. Number 14. Library of Ashurbanipal Libraries, no matter what stage of life you are in, have most certainly played an important role in your intellectual journey. Throughout history, libraries have acted as knowledge reservoirs, storing the collected learning of many societies. The Library of Ashurbanipal, an ancient treasure trove, is a witness to this lasting heritage. Austin Henry Layard, an English historian and intrepid explorer, made a discovery in 1849 that would send shockwaves across the worlds of archaeology and scholarship. Layard discovered the mythical Library of Ashurbanipal among the remains of a palace. This amazing find included a stockpile of over 30,000 clay tablets, each of which was a rare window into the ancient civilizations of the Middle East. Consider the significance of this insight. It was a reservoir of infinite information covering the enormous tapestry of civilizations that thrived in the Middle East. The library housed the empire's secrets, glimpses into the daily lives of ancient peoples, and generations worth of knowledge. The Library of Ashurbanipal housed some of humanity's first written documents, including the Epic of Gilgamesh, an ancient literary masterwork that continues to enchant readers to this day. This epic story, rich in myth and adventure, offered a look into a bygone era's perspective. The Library of Ashurbanipal was a beacon of wisdom that transcended time and geography. Its clay tablets bear testimony to the hardships, achievements, and wisdom of various Middle Eastern civilizations that previously existed. Number 13. Mummy of Hekashapis The Mummy of Hekashapis, a testament to ancient Egyptian burial traditions and the preservation of the dead, has a fascinating position in history. Hekashapis, whose name translates to Horus is chief of the flock, lived during ancient Egypt's late period, a period marked by cultural integration and the development of religious traditions. This well-preserved mummy was unearthed in Egypt, an archaeological treasure trove steeped in millennia of history and mystery. Hekashippi's tomb, like many other ancient Egyptian tombs, was located within Thebes' necropolis, modern-day Luxor, a city that once thrived on the banks of the Nile. The mummy of Hekashippi's, like countless others, underwent painstaking and sophisticated mummification methods driven by the belief in the afterlife. The ancient Egyptians believed that death preservation was critical to ensure a safe journey to the afterlife. This painstaking procedure included organ removal, preservative treatment, and careful wrapping of the body in linen bandages. The beautifully adorned casket in which Hakashapis's mummy was imprisoned is what makes it so remarkable. Intricate inscriptions, vivid images of gods and goddesses, and religious symbols adorned the coffin, intended to lead the departed on their trip through the afterlife. 
These beautiful coffins acted as both protective receptacles for the departed and canvases for religious and aesthetic expression. The mummy of Hakashapis provides insight into ancient Egypt's cultural and spiritual beliefs during the late period. Number 12. Angkor Wat Angkor Wat is a renowned and awe-inspiring temple complex in Cambodia's core, close to the contemporary city of Siem Reap. It is a testimony to the Khmer Empire's architectural and aesthetic achievements, and it is one of Southeast Asia's most significant archaeological and cultural sites. Angkor Wat was built in the early 12th century by King Suryavarman II as a Hindu temple. Later, it was converted into a Buddhist temple complex, a transformation that symbolizes the region's dynamic religious and cultural transformations. Angkor Wat's magnitude and magnificence are breathtaking. Its elaborate and symmetrical design includes encircling corridors and high spires that culminate in a central sanctuary. The temple is encircled by a large moat, which adds to its mystery and provides a beautiful reflection of its exquisite construction, especially at dawn and sunset. Angkor Wat's complex carvings provide a rich history of Khmer culture. Number 11. Staffordshire Hoard The discovery of the Staffordshire Hoard in the English countryside remains one of the most significant archaeological findings of the 21st century, shedding light on a critical time in British history and providing a breathtaking peek into the world of the Anglo-Saxons. The story begins with Terry Herbert, an amateur metal detectorist who was scanning a farmer's field near the village of Hammerwich in Staffordshire, England, in July 2009. He discovered an incredible collection of meticulously carved gold and silver objects buried beneath the dirt. The discovery, once assumed to be a small collection of Anglo-Saxon riches, rapidly showed its real significance when researchers analyzed the objects. The Staffordshire hoard had nearly 3,500 distinct pieces, the majority of which were military goods such as sword-hilt fittings, pommels, helmet fragments, and jewelry. It was a magnificent array of precious metals and diamonds that had been meticulously designed and masterfully created. The historical setting added to the significance of the Staffordshire Hoard. These items date back to the 7th century, when the Anglo-Saxons were establishing their foothold in England following the fall of the Roman Empire. The trove revealed fascinating details about this early medieval society's creativity, craftsmanship, and military ability. The Staffordshire Hoard provided archaeologists and historians with a tantalizing dilemma. Its interment, assumed to be an intentional act, prompted suspicions regarding its purpose. Was it a treasure chest, a votive offering, or a war chest? The solutions are still the topic of continuous investigation and conjecture. Number 10. Hal Safliani Hippogeum The Hal Safliani Hippogeum is a remarkable archaeological site on Malta's Mediterranean island. This underground masterpiece, carved into the soft limestone bedrock, is a monument to the prehistoric people who formerly inhabited the area's inventiveness and workmanship. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most mysterious and well-preserved underground temples in the world. It is also known as the Hypogeum of Al Safliani. The Hypogeum is nearly 5,000 years old. It is thought to have served a variety of purposes throughout its history, including a sanctuary, a necropolis, and maybe even a place of worship. The site is famous for its convoluted and labyrinthine arrangement, which includes a succession of rooms, hallways, and passageways that link three floors that extend an incredible 11 meters below Earth. The architectural perfection of the Hypogeum is one of its most appealing qualities. The intricately carved patterns, spirals, and animal motifs on the walls and ceilings demonstrate the ancient builder's ability and craftsmanship. The Oracle Room, a semicircular room famed for its exceptional acoustics, deserves special mention. When one talks or sings within this chamber, the music reverberates in an uncanny, haunting manner, implying ritualistic or ceremonial importance. Number 9. Chichen Itza Chichen Itza, a massive pre-Columbian metropolis created by the ancient Maya in Mexico's Yucatan state, became a global focus point after explorer John Lloyd Stevens's descriptions in 1843. 
Dedicated archaeologists from the Carnegie Institution did not begin significant excavations to uncover its secrets until the early 20th century. This gigantic landmark is a tribute to the Maya civilization's creativity and a treasure trove for those attempting to comprehend its diverse architectural tapestry. Chichen Itza, commonly referred to as one of antiquity's mythological great cities, has captured the imaginations of researchers and fans alike. Its attractiveness stems not just from its sheer size, but also from the astonishing variety of architectural styles it possesses. The splendor of the city stems from a mix of Maya traditions and influences from various Mesoamerican cultures, a witness to the cultural interactions that took place in this historic crossroads. Chichen Itza's presence was mostly unknown for centuries, hidden behind layers of thyme and tropical flora. The writings of John Lloyd Stevens piqued the world's interest in this hidden gem, but it wasn't until the Carnegie Institution's archaeological efforts that the site's real magnificence began to surface. These trailblazing scholars set out to unveil Chichen Itza's mysteries, methodically excavating its architecture and relics. Number 8. Dead Sea Scrolls The Dead Sea Scrolls are, without a doubt, among the most precious religious treasures to have graced the field of archaeology. They go beyond their historical value by providing significant insights into ancient society's ideas, which are frequently entwined with their religious convictions and the great people who characterized their times. These extraordinary scrolls, created by ancient hands, are part of an assemblage of over 800 texts unearthed by chance within 11 caverns. They are a captivating collection of texts that predate the birth of Jesus Christ, and they give a vivid picture of the Hebrew Bible's early iterations. These documents, largely written in Hebrew, are among the oldest Abrahamic religious manuscripts in existence, elevating them to a position of supreme importance. The historical significance of the Dead Sea Scrolls has echoed down through the ages. The fortuitous finding of shards of these scrolls sparked an urgent desire to learn more. Number 7. Oldest War Monument An incredible burial mound in Syria has surfaced as a possible historical marvel, holding the bones of more than 30 soldiers and going back over 4,300 years. This archaeological find, located in the flooded precincts of Tel Banat, may be the world's oldest known battle memorial. Surprisingly, it also introduces the world to a different sort of monument, as described in ancient Mesopotamian inscriptions. This construction represents a perfectly ordered configuration in which the bodies of either adversaries or local warriors were painstakingly placed. Anne Porter, a University of Toronto professor specializing in ancient Near and Middle Eastern civilizations, emphasizes the significance of this discovery. She underlines the universality of remembering those who died in conflict throughout history, as this discovery delivers a poignant message of ancient devotion. The question of whether these people represented the winners or the defeated in the fight remains unanswered. What is evident is that the residents of Tel Banat took up the serious task of moving the fallen, potentially long after the fighting had ended, and deposited them within an enormous mound with visibility for kilometers in all directions. Number 6. Sir Ernest Shackleton's Whiskey Sir Ernest Shackleton's whiskey discovery is a wonderful narrative of exploration, preservation, and a taste of history frozen in time. The narrative began when famed British explorer Ernest Shackleton embarked on the Nimrod expedition with the goal of being the first person to reach the South Pole. During this perilous trek, Shackleton and his team kept supplies at their expedition headquarters in Antarctica, including containers of Mackinlay's rare old Highland malt whiskey. Shackleton and his crew abandoned their voyage in 1909 after falling short of their aim and facing terrible difficulties. The goods, including the whiskey, were abandoned and buried beneath Antarctica's ice strata. For nearly a century, the whiskey sat neglected, frozen in the harsh Antarctic conditions. Fast forward to 2006, when a group of New Zealand explorers discovered Shackleton's expedition hut near Cape Royds. Several containers of Mackinley's whiskey were among the well-preserved relics. This incredible find provided a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to savor a piece of history. To confirm that the bottles were safe to drink, they were thoroughly thawed and examined. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. 
This bizarre and frankly disturbing image recently went viral online when some history buffs speculated that it may be the reconstructed photograph of the ancient Egyptian queen Tai, whose mummy was discovered by archaeologists in 1898. Tiye was the great royal wife of Egyptian pharaoh Amenhotep III, mother of pharaoh Akhenaten, and grandmother of pharaoh Tutankhamun. Her parents were Yuya and Thuya. Thanks to modern technological advancements, scientists are now able to reconstruct her facial features digitally to find out how Mummy Queen looked when she was alive. Was she beautiful or just average looking? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Number 5. Lovers Embrace in Grave A recent investigation revealed a startling archaeological find in northern China, finding the skeletal remains of a loving couple engaged in an everlasting embrace over 1,500 years ago. This touching discovery shows a deep affinity between the two people and provides fascinating insights into society's ideas regarding love at the time. The woman's funeral clothing, which includes a metal band on her left ring finger, suggests a heartbreaking scenario. Researchers believe she intentionally committed herself to be buried near her husband as a monument to their undying love. While combined male-female funerals are not uncommon in China, this unusual finding of a couple embracing in death is an extraordinary show of affection within the country's historical framework. The study team emphasized that this interwoven burial is a bold display of love and may represent changing ideas on love in Chinese culture throughout the era. Archaeologists discovered this extraordinary find in June 2020 while excavating a cemetery in Shanxi province that had been uncovered during building activity. The cemetery, which had roughly 600 remains, belonged to the Xianbei, an old nomadic community in northern China that gradually absorbed Han Chinese culture. The researchers chose not to fully unearth the skeleton remains due to the unusual nature of the couple's burial. Instead, they chose to leave them in their loving embrace, conserving the rare treasure for future generations to enjoy. Number 4. Easter Island Statues The discovery of the massive stone sculptures known as Moai on Easter Island is a story of both awe and mystery that has caught the imaginations of people all across the world. Rapa Nui, an isolated Polynesian island in the southeastern Pacific Ocean, is home to one of the most renowned and intriguing archaeological sites on the planet. On Easter Sunday, April 1722, Dutch navigator Jacob Roggeveen made the first known European encounter with Easter Island. The sight of the gigantic stone figures, some towering over 30 feet in height and weighing up to 80 tons, astounded Roggeveen's expedition. These enormous monoliths, carved from compacted volcanic ash, displayed exceptional skill and creativity that awed spectators. The discovery generated many concerns about the island's past and the individuals who created such amazing sculptures. The Rapa Nui people, the island's indigenous Polynesian inhabitants, had carved, transported, and erected these huge sculptures with primitive tools and a strange transportation mechanism that entailed rolling the statues on large stone platforms. Scholars have disputed whether the Moai were religious objects, portraits of ancestors, or symbols of tribal power for decades. The specific procedures of cutting and transporting these massive monuments have perplexed scholars. Today, the statues on Easter Island exist as a tribute to the Rapa Nui people's inventiveness and cultural value. Number 3. Europe's Oldest Map a stone slab said to be Europe's earliest known map has resurfaced from the annals of history, enthralling academics more than a century after its first discovery. The St. Belek slab, a relic from the early Bronze Age, was discovered in Finisterre, Brittany, France, within a prehistoric burial site. Initially disregarded and neglected, this 12.7-foot slab made its way to a private museum until ultimately making its way into the collection of France's Museum of National Antiquities in 1924. It then lingered in the dungeon of a French chateau until its rediscovery in 2014. Researchers have just lately begun to understand the amazing story hidden inside this old stone. 
In 2017, a dedicated team of European experts set out to interpret the slab's carvings using cutting-edge technology, including high-resolution 3D surveys and photogrammetry. What they found was nothing short of amazing. The slab had all the signs of a map, replete with patterns connected by lines. Further investigation revealed that these threads formed a network similar to a river system. Surprisingly, the map's authors looked purposeful in their attempts, employing a three-dimensional rendering to illustrate valley outlines. The St. Belek slab, an old artifact, has reignited our interest in ancient mapping and the everlasting human ambition to map the world around us. This incredible item, locked away for generations, acts as a millennium-spanning bridge, linking us to our forefathers' resourcefulness and the secrets of their time. Number 2. Pompeii the once mighty city of Pompeii met its fatal conclusion at the hands of Mount Vesuvius in the year 79 AD, succumbing to a devastating volcanic explosion. The streets and edifices that had existed for generations were buried beneath layers of ash, disappearing into history as distant recollections. However, destiny's inexorable hand had an astonishing plan in mind. Centuries passed calmly, keeping Pompeii hidden and unaffected by the relentless march of time. Then, in the 18th century, a historic rediscovery occurred. This ancient Roman city, miraculously reborn from the ashes, once again revealed its secrets to the world. Imagine the surprise of people who came across these buried fragments preserved in time. The city's hauntingly maintained thoroughfares, abodes, and public spaces provided a tantalizing look into the daily lives of its long-lost people. Pompeii became a historical treasure trove, attracting researchers' brains and igniting the imaginations of the curious. The Pompeii remains are a witness to the splendor of a sophisticated society. Elaborate mosaics, well-preserved frescoes, and relics of daily life captivated the globe, bridging the gap between ancient Rome and the present period. These quiet stones tell tales of tragedy and victory, love and grief. Number 1. Dako Sword Japan. The discovery of the Dako sword in Japan demonstrates the continuing fascination of history, martial tradition, and Japanese swordsmiths' remarkable artistry. This historic sword, with origins dating back to Japan's medieval era, embodies samurai culture and has piqued the interest and veneration of historians and fans. The Dako sword was discovered in the northern section of Japan's Honshu Island, notably in the Akita Prefecture a place rich in history and revered for its samurai legacy. The roots of the sword may be traced back to the Kamakura period, a period in Japan marked by political instability and shifting power relations among samurai clans. The Dako sword's distinctive and cryptic name distinguishes it from other historical weapons. The name Dako means falcon in Japanese, and it most likely refers to the sword's owner or an important event in its history. While the precise circumstances surrounding its burial and preservation remain unknown, the sword's superb workmanship speaks volumes about its value. This magnificent blade is a good example of Japanese S. wordsmithing mastery. Its blade, decorated with a beautiful ham on, demonstrates its creator's amazing talent. The hammon is not only visually beautiful, but also a testament to the blade's excellent sharpness and cutting ability. Though aged, the hilt and fittings exhibit the hallmarks of traditional Japanese sword design, demonstrating the junction of form and fun. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.